My name is Jen Davis, and I'm the program director here at the Contemporary Arts Center in New Orleans. The CAC's Artist Residency are an annual application-based program offering time, space, resources, and professional development opportunities for visual and performing artists here in New Orleans. Each spring, we select seven to eight artists and companies to join us throughout the summer in residence, culminating in work in process performances and a months long exhibition over the course of the summer. The Contemporary Art Center in New Orleans is committed to artists, the presentation of multidisciplinary artworks, and advancing the power and value of the art of our time. We believe that these values are exemplified in our artist in residency program. And now, on behalf of the board and staff of the CAC, we invite you to enjoy these bold new works of art. My name is Paris Cyan Sion, and the piece entitled is called The Shore and Sight. The piece, The Shore and Sight, is about performance ritual. It is a prayer, active and ongoing. Um, I'm currently really interested in the negotiation of dark space and what's possible when there is a lack of light. Um, but also thinking about darkness as cosmic blackness, as my black girl cosmology, um, and an opportunity to connect with my ancestors and what does that look like in community and with myself, um, with our bodies, what, what shifts, what changes. Um, and I'm looking at this from the perspective of darkness, but also nature. So what does water have to offer um, as information to communicate with my people, um, as my family calls it, being from New Orleans? Um, and I'm just, I'm really interested in what active prayer looks like. What does it mean to be in active co conversation, full body, full tech, like the complexity of how I can bring nature in and out. The residency was very helpful. I needed a space to kind of explode my brain. Um, I needed an opportunity to kind of like throw up all of these ideas and practices that I've been working on um, in varying spaces. So to come inside of a space, a black space, a black box, what does it mean to kind of explode within my internal and external light? So looking at tech, Joe was super helpful to look at the color changes, what's possible um, within darkness, but still having some aspects available. Um, during COVID, my practice really exploded with film. So I'm really interested in the opportunities and layers of projection. Um, what's possible when you collide and collate images together? Um, how does that impact the body shadow? How does that impact um, the way of you see in the space, whether that's my own skin or the audience, um, and thinking about perception and depth in those ways. Um, so yeah, the residency allowed me to kind of like explode with that, with sound, with film, um, exploring the aspects of the architecture of space of light. And it was just, yeah, it was really helpful. And that's, you know, different to doing your bedroom. So yeah. <laughs> between what he was able to extract and what was needed was hers. And there was no place she was to get it. So the space between what you can rationally do and what you have to do is where black women have stood. And June says that's flesh out of flesh, a way out of no way, and it sounds wonderful. And there are Bible things about being a way out of no way. Jesus is a way out of no way. Well, my mama could give Jesus a run for his money. Because <laughs> my mama is a way out of no way. A magician. Except she wasn't saying gooba, 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 gooba words. You know, she had to put the food on the table. And she did it with a lot of support from everybody who was in that family. But that always had a place where it stopped. You know, at some point, we went to bed at night. And at some point, my father, exhausted, went to bed at night. My mama didn't go to bed if she couldn't go to bed. If there was still something to do, she just didn't go to bed. But she couldn't go to sleep the next day because she had stayed up all night. And that's flesh out of flesh. You don't get that from any place except out of your own flesh and out of your own blood. And what I think I want to talk about today is the end of that. That in order to do for my people what my mama did for me, 
and what her mama did for her and her grandmother did for her mother and what those black slave women did for their people. I have to stop that. And the only way I can look Sojourner and Harriet in the face is if I can turn this next year 2000 and black women have the chance to sit down sometime. And what I want to talk about is how that is the same thing. That it is just as impossible for black women to find time to run and play and laugh and work and be everything we have to be as it was for my mama to work all day, all night, never laugh and never play. The same job. And so I'm talking about how my life continues the stance. And in order to continue the stance, I have to stop some of the things that have happened to black women. I have to, in fact, not do what my mama did. Stay where you are. The only way you can stay where you are is the moon. And all, the only way we can keep what we have is to leave it. And then we can look the people in the face who did the work in the 70s. The only way I could look my history of the 60s in the face is to be dealing with the Wilkinson Ken and issues around women in the 70s. You can't hold the same space by standing where your mama stood. The only way you can stand where your mama stood is to be someplace else other than where your mama was, because she stood there, and she probably stood there better than you ever could since she had a cotton field to stand in, which you don't have. So you can't be running around, messing around with cotton. And so it's almost like if we learn what we have done in times past, The only thing we can extract is the commitment for movement and change in motion. And not spend a lot of time trying to apply those specific realities to our everyday life. Because what our work therefore is, is to look at where we are and figure out what we have to do. So when this sojourner came to visit, he could sit and talk to her.
And all, the only way we can keep what we have is to leave it. And then we can look the people in the face who did the work in the 70s. The only way I could look my history of the 60s in the face is to be dealing with the Wilmington 10 and issues around women in the 70s. You can't hold the same space by standing where your mama stood. The only way you can stand where your mama stood is to be someplace else other than where your mama was, because she stood there, and she probably stood there better than you ever could since she had a cotton field to stand in, which you don't have. So you can't be running around, messing around with cotton. And so it's almost like if we learn.